Hi everybody, we are here with our writing video for Wednesday and we are going to be filling out our own paragraph. So we've been talking about having title and indenting and having nice complete sentences and starting with a topic sentence. And we're gonna to try to put all of that together today to write a really short, just three sentence paragraph. Um, and we'll build on that as we go along in the year to add more sentences into our paragraphs, but we're gonna keep it nice and sweet and short um, for you guys today. So, Ms. Marquardt, mm -hmm. even though we're adults, mm -hmm. I think we still enjoy having fun, right? Oh, absolutely, all the time. Yes. <laughs> and so I bet that you have a favorite toy that you like to play with. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe not a favorite toy, Okay. but I definitely have something at home that I like to use all the time. Oh. Does that count? That counts. Okay. So about a year ago, I got a Peloton, Peloton exercise bike. Ooh. It's like a stationary bike, so you can't take it outside. It just uh -huh. stays in my garage, but you pedal and there's a screen on it and it's super interactive. Nice. So I would say that's probably my favorite toy, if we okay. could call it a toy. All right, cool. And can you think of maybe a reason you really like that? Oh, I could think of a lot. I mean, one reason is kind of obvious is that I can get exercise. Mm -hmm. So I like being able to exercise, getting a good workout in. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Could you think of maybe a second reason why you like it? Sure. Why not? It's actually really fun yeah. and it's super interactive. There's a screen that you get to watch with people. So while you're riding, it actually feels like you're riding with a group of your friends. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. Cool. So you just told me what your favorite toy is mm -hmm. and two reasons why you really like it. Yeah. And I bet our second graders can think of their favorite toy. Maybe it's a video game or maybe it's a soccer ball or maybe it's their paint set. They really like doing art. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's something at your house that you love playing with and I want you to think about that right now while we get started. So since we always want to have a title for our paragraph, we're going to title it My Favorite Toy. And do we always capitalize the words in the title? Sure do. So we're going to make sure to capitalize My Favorite Toy. Okay, I'm going to make sure my capital letter goes all the way down the line. All right, and then we want to make sure that we have a topic sentence. Mm -hmm. And now I'm not going to write out the full sentence for the kids because I don't know what their favorite toy is. That's true. And I don't want them to copy you and say that your Peloton is their favorite toy. No, they yeah. better not be writing about a Peloton bike. No. That okay. was my idea. Yes. <laughs> so I know that my topic sentence needs to be indented. Two finger spaces, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to put two finger spaces here and we're going to write our topic sentence as my favorite toy is, so copy this and then complete the sentence with what your favorite toy is. Make sure to end it with a period. Now you might only write one word, you might need to write a couple of words, but wherever your sentence ends up, make sure that you end up putting a period at the end of it, okay? Now you also told me a couple more things. Can you remember what else we wrote about? Yeah, I gave you some reasons why the Peloton was my favorite. Okay, so we're not gonna write down reasons for them, but we can start the sentence, right? Yeah, maybe we could start a sentence with like, one reason is. Okay, so we'll make sure to capitalize one. One reason is, and then you're gonna finish the sentence. What is a reason that you really like that toy? Complete the sentence, wherever your sentence, I'm gonna pretend that your sentence ended up right here because you wrote all the way over here. But you just make sure you put your period at the end of that sentence. And I think we said we're only gonna do a three sentence paragraph. Yeah, so. Topic, first reason. One. We need one more sentence. Okay, we said. Well, I remember that you asked me for multiple reasons mm -hmm. why it was my favorite. So maybe their last sentence could just say, another reason is. I like that. So we'll capitalize another, another reason is, and you will complete the second reason why you like your toy and 
wherever your sentence ends up ending, make sure you have that period. And that's pretty much it for today. Yeah, I think as soon as they are done, there's a little checklist on the next page. Oh. And it's really simple. Maybe we want to show them what they could look for when they're done, just to make sure they did things like capital letters and titles and all that good stuff that we talked about. Okay. So we're gonna pa we're gonna get out of the way so that if you need to pause it to write down your sentence frames, you can make sure you fill in the blanks on your own. Okay, let's pretend that you unpaused it now. So Margaret's gonna erase it, and we're gonna show you what your checklist should look like. Oh yeah. There's a space for a picture at the bottom. Oh, I forgot that picture. So after you're done with your three sentences, I'm going to pop my head back into the screen. Make sure that you draw a picture and color it and show us what the toy is that you're talking about. And maybe you playing with it or something. Yeah, if yeah. I were doing it, I would draw a picture of myself on the Peloton bike. Yeah. But I don't have time for that right now. So yeah. you're <laughs> going to draw a picture of yourself playing with your really cool toy. So All right. Let's so, look at the checklist. All right, so our checklist is called the neat paper checklist, and that's what we're gonna be looking for from you, that your paper is nice and neat, and that it checks all the things that we have in the boxes. And you can put a check or a little X in each box once you make sure that your writing has these things. Your name is at the top. Check. All right, I have a title. I yes. know you had a title. I indented my paragraphs with that two, two finger, finger space. space. This one's my favorite. I used neat handwriting. Second graders write neatly. I can read every word. If you can't read your own handwriting, Mrs. Grant and I are not going to be able to read it either. No way. All right. There are spaces between all of my words. That's important. And this is my best word. I think second graders know they should always be turning in their best. Yes. So this is a pretty easy checklist. It's just a reminder that you are looking for all the same things that we're going to be looking for when you turn it in. And other than that, I am really excited to hear about all of their favorite toys. Me too. <laughs>